It's called the Southeast Coast Project, an endeavor aimed at preserving the flora and fauna in a part of St. Lucia rich in biodiversity. A team of marine biologists is teaching the next generation of scuba divers from the coastal communities where fishing is a way of life, how to not only navigate the waters, but make sustainable use of the marine resources. One of the good things was that we got the opportunity to certify new divers from all three of the communities, Miku, Labri, and Pralin. Um, these are people who are living in the coastline. They've been spear fishing and free diving their entire lives, and we got to now teach them how to scuba dive safely. We also had existing scuba divers and conch divers that we got to give them advanced training, ultimately to try and make their jobs a lot safer. Also to show them what they should not be doing in, in the marine zone. For instance, we can see that a lot of fishermen are trying not to target part fish as much. But the endeavor, albeit noble, uncovered a disturbing trend. We have been here off and, um, on and off since June. Um, we've been working with all of the communities, with Pralin, with Miku, with Labri. Um, one of the one finding that concerns us a lot is that all three of the sites um, is critically overfish. Overfishing is a problem in the region. We know this, but we thought that when we came to Saint Lucia, we would we would have been pleasantly surprised. You're on the east coast of Saint Lucia, some of the most remote places the biggest island in the OECS, but what we found is that overfishing is affecting the most remote parts of St. Lucia as well. However, there's a lot of good things we can do, and there are areas in Miku and Labri specifically that we will probably be recommending some level of protection. If we establish replenishment zones now, we can um, you know, save a lot more of our reefs, fish, for future generations. The marine biologists from Grenada through the Ministry of Sustainable Development in St. Lucia are working with an entity called Integrated Sustainability on the project which imparts knowledge. I think um, our marine environments in all Caribbean islands make up the vast majority of our national space and it's one of the most underrepresented in terms of imparting knowledge to children in development and in our education system and in understanding the habitats, the environments, the biodiversity and the richness, uh, the biodiversity, the richness of that, the kinds of organisms we have, the breadth and depth and where and how and how our reefs have developed and how our mangroves have developed. I just think it is such a huge part of our national space that we just don't talk about as often. We don't get in and see it as often and we don't we don't get to it enjoyed and appreciated as much as we might the topside activities. Experts say the exercise has been enriching. We're all dive instructors, but this was um, special for us because we got to these the, the students we taught in St. Lucia from Labri, Pralin, Miku. Um, they reminded us of how we used to be because they are so eager to get out there. Now, again, these are people who are already in the ocean, but now we have exposed them to scuba and scuba and safety so they can now go further and deeper offshore. But what I like in that all of our students, a lot of their questions, because they're, we're, we're learning from them too, a lot of their questions you're asking, how can we help? Because everybody says, when my father was a fisherman, there are a lot less fish now than when he was a fisherman and then his father was a fisherman. So they're not just going out there as well fishers to, to take everything out of the ocean. They're trying to do it in, a, in the correct manner. And I like that the word sustainability and ecosystems are coming from community members to us. I mean, the students, their energy has been fantastic. Their interest, their, their interest in learning, their interest in growing, their interest in finding out about what's going on and learning what we're seeing underwater has been really invigorating and really optimistic. It's been really good to see. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun to share the information and we, we get in the water as marine biologists more than maybe some other Caribbean people do. So we get to see things in detail that aren't as common knowledge. So it's a lot of fun to share. It's that level of shared knowledge and experience that has resonated with participants, like scuba diving student Kareem Monrose. Well, I've learned numerous, numerous things from scuba diving with Mr. Andre and Miss Christine as well. It has been a fun-filled experience. Scuba diving is something I always had a passion of doing and just getting the opportunity through the government is very pleasing. St. Lucia's ecosystems, including marine life, have been under pressure for years with the acceleration of the global climate emergency. Recently, communities along the East Coast have been grappling with the region-wide problem of sargasm seaweed.